Eight Square is the first world that the player visits after the events of Lambda Mall. The environment in Eight Square is kind of like a medieval simulation, really. But it is a countryside it's, uh, grown out of a chessboard. And well, Eight Square is more the, the, the countryside. And so we really made our focus on the people living there. We tried to give, make them alive and organic. So one of the unique things about the Otherland MMO is that the NPCs have what we call life cycle behavior. They go around and they do things that a normal person would do in real life. Right? Like a fisherman, he might go fish, and then he might take his fish to the market. Um, now we also have other NPCs that would be your vendors, your quest givers, your enemies, of course. Um, but I think those are things that every game has, whereas the Otherland game, we have NPCs that act like normal people. The cool thing about the life cycle, uh, our life cycle AI and the Otherland MMO is that it gives the feeling of a more rich environment, a more real life environment that people are moving around. They have lives, they need to do their things. You know, the baker, he has to go to the store, he has to go to his shop. The fisherman, he goes to go fishing. Uh, and players can actually influence that by uh, interacting with those NPCs. Only the player understands that this is really a chess simulation. To, to the inhabitants, I believe, this is just their life. This is their daily life that's going on around them. There's, there's no concept that they are part of anything larger or the simulation. In 8 Squared in particular, there are two different types of armies. And those armies are fighting an eternal war against each other. And the player, of course, he's the one that interacts with those two armies and tries to figure out what is going on. At first, they'll, they'll think that the Red Army is evil and the White Army is pure and good, but things aren't always so crystal clear in our game. There are definite rules of warfare that both the Red side and the White side always follow through, except now, sometimes the Red pieces are cheating. Sometimes the forces that are being led by the bishops are moving straight across the board rather than diagonally, or if not the board, but just the actual countryside itself. Um, and once the white armies are kind of realizing that the red armies are being ennobled and not following these rules of warfare, they're, they're joining in as well. So now, this is not even just becoming a war, this is becoming an all-out just brawl. It's just becoming a battle where everyone is losing. Something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong with the very nature of the world itself. The kings are missing. We're still always playing on this concept that this is a simulation. This is not a real world we're trying to recreate here. And in the case of 8 Squared, the simulation is broken. And the players will discover as they explore through the world and as they take the quests that there's definitely something wrong. Um, I mean, with, with 8 Squared, what we want to do is offer a fresh perspective. Um, just as Ted Williams had done in the novel, we were very inspired by the story. You know, what if this virtual reality that you're immersing yourself in started to kind of you know, not function so well anymore. And then you start to see, um, you start to see like code, you know, binary code appearing on the surface of water. You start to see landforms de-resing into blockish cubes and, and, and little slips of glowing code slipping out from objects around you. One of the things we'd like for the player to experience inside 8 Squared is to have a traditional fantasy setting, but rather than the setting being a Tolkien-esque setting of elves and dwarves, taking a more uh, Victorian era feel of fantasy, something that's not regularly seen. We consciously chose 8 Squared as one of the opening worlds for Otherland because it harbors back to MMO RPGs that the players have, have played before. But at the same time, we wanted to introduce this concept of this virtuality, this simulation, this world that is not a real world to the player. And we felt that introducing it in something that's so familiar to players was a great way to really introduce the concepts of Overland.